Okay, the dielectric of a parallel plate capacitor is to be constructed from Teflon that completely fills the volume between the, between the plates. The area of each plate is 0.5 meter square. A dielectric constant for Teflon is 2.1. What is the thickness of the Teflon if the capacitance to be 0.1 microfarad? And then calculate the charge on the capacitor if it is connected to 12 volt battery. Good. So, uh, first of all, what we can see, uh, look at what information given. Okay, he, he mentioned about dielectric. We have a parallel plate capacitor. Uh, Teflon is the dielectric. Uh, fills the volume between the two plates. Okay, so Teflon is the dielectric. Okay, give you area of each plate. Uh, each plate, that means this is, a, this is the area uh, of one plate. Uh, in fact, we just need one plate, uh, not two plates. No need to multiply two. This plate, no need to multiply two. Uh, area for one plate. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, oh, hold on a second. In fact, you see the equation, this area is area of one plate, not two plates. Uh. Uh, okay, dielectric constant for Teflon is 2.1. So, what is this dielectric constant? Okay, I want to ask you a simple question. Is this... Is this dielectric constant, is it E or is it ER? Huh? Sometimes you call it K, sometimes you call it ER. Which one? Is this E or ER? Ah, this one is uh, dielectric constant. Okay, I want to highlight this one. Yeah, Dielectric constant is actually ER. Uh, it's actually ER, this one. Okay. Dielectric constant is actually ER or K, or we call it relative permittivity. It's not, it's not the E, it's not the E, it's not the... E, e is called permittivity of dielectric material. It's not, E is not dielectric constant, yeah? E is a uh, uh, permittivity of dielectric material, okay? So, it's not E, it's not E, yeah? It is actually uh, ER. Dielectric constant is actually ER. Uh, relative constant is actually ER or K. So if we really want to find E later on, okay, later if we want to find E, we have to multiply this dielectric constant ER with E not some more. Uh, yeah. If we want to find the permittivity of uh, dielectric material, we have to multiply this dielectric constant with permittivity of free space E not. Ah, we need to multiply this, this E not some more. Okay, so uh, we can say it is uh, uh, ER. Uh, right now we have uh, ER already 2.1. Uh, 2.1 E not E not is uh, you can E not is permittivity of free space. You can find this E not in the list of constant. Uh, permittivity constant, which is E not. Uh, e naught, yeah. E naught is uh, eight point eight five exponent negative twelve farad per meter. Okay. Uh, negative twelve. Ah, uh, okay. Like this. Ah, uh, later on you get a certain value, yeah. Uh, let's calculate this first, yeah. Let's calculate this first. Uh, two point one multiply. Uh, eight point eight five exponent negative twelve. Um, yeah, so E is uh, 1.8585, exponent negative 11, uh, this one is, uh, what is uh, E, E, E is a farad per meter, uh, that's a unit, yeah, farad per meter, yeah, okay, all right, uh, now, he say, what is the thickness of the Teflon if the capacitance to be this? So, what is this? Uh, he asked for thickness of the Teflon, of the dielectric. If this, this is the capacitance, all right? So, let us first draw the capacitor and see. Uh, capacitor is uh, two parallel plate. And then in the middle, we have a Teflon. Okay, let's uh, draw it out. We have a Teflon in the middle. 
uh, okay completely fill the space so um, yeah so we have this uh, yeah uh, so this is the teflon the blue color one is a teflon the insulator the dielectric all right so uh, this is the this is the the teflon oops sorry uh -huh. so uh all right so this is the this is the teflon yeah this is the teflon or we call it the dielectric Ah uh, yeah, dielectric. So the thickness, he he asked for the thickness. Thickness. This thickness is actually the D, the separation between the two plate. Uh, actually the thickness of the thickness of the Teflon or thickness of the dielectric is actually the separation between the two plate. Ah and we also given the area of one plate. Uh, okay, area of uh, one plate so d is the thickness of teflon or the separation between the two plates so we can use the formula uh, because this one is uh, with dielectric isn't it uh, this is a uh, with dielectric so this is with dielectric and the dielectric is called teflon Right. So with dielectric, we use a formula uh, C equal to EA over D. Uh, C equal to EA over D. C equal to EA over D. Uh, EA over D. And remember, this dielectric constant is not E. Don't substitute. Oh, don't substitute. Uh, e is uh, 2.1. And then uh, A is 0 0.5. A is 0 0.5 and then uh, and then what and then uh, uh, and then the D separation D so this is wrong huh? uh, this this is wrong because uh, dielectric constant is not E it is just the ER only yeah it is just the it is dielectric constant is just dielectric constant is just the ER only the this ER ah, it's not the E so uh, the correct one is this E can be uh, can be uh, further expand to E R E naught. Ah, okay, E R E naught. So we already calculated the E R E naught just now. Yeah, I multiply the two point one with the E naught eight point eight five exponent with twelve, and I got one point eight five eight five. Uh, so it's substitute this one it's not substitute 2.1 yeah so we substitute uh, this one uh e r e naught after multiply i got 1.8 1.8585 exponent negative 11 and area area is uh, 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.5 and then uh, divide by the distance between the two plate distance between the two plate is um, oh i need to find the distance between the two plate isn't it and the, or the thickness of the teflon because the uh, distance between the two plate is actually the thickness it's actually the thickness yeah uh, and then uh, okay so the capacitance the capacitance is say is 0 0.1 microfarad uh, so um, 0 0.1 microfarad should be uh, micro you see micro you need to change to uh, exponent negative 6 so here is the capacitance is 0 0.1 micro micro is negative micro is negative 6 farad uh, okay negative 6 farad so uh, ah, I can find the D uh, okay I can find the D so I cross multiply okay so d is equal to let's calculate okay this one uh, i cross multiply this one yeah d go to the top and then this 0 0.1 go below here so and then calculate and see yeah 0.8585 exponent negative 11 
multiply 0.5 divide by the answer is uh, 0.1 exponent negative 6 and y exponent negative 6 okay so the answer d is 9 oh sorry uh it is a uh, 9.29 okay 9.29 uh, exponent negative 5 negative 5 meter okay that's my answer am i correct uh 92.9 micrometer also can yeah micro uh, if i don't change micro i change the micro into value um negative 6 uh negative 6 so uh, go there Negative 5. Okay, that's correct. My answer is correct. Now, let's do... Uh, this is for question A. How about question B? Uh, question B, I want to find the charge. I want to find the charge on, each, on the capacitor. So, this is the Q. The charge on 12 volt battery. So, this is the voltage. So, this one just use Q equal to CV. You go to CV, uh, connect to this 12 volt battery. So I have this capacitance, uh, 0 0.1 microfarad capacitance, connect to 12 volt battery. How much charge will be stored on the capacitor? So uh, my charge, uh, my capacitance is uh, 0 0.1 microfarad. Micro is negative 6. Micro is negative 6. Voltage is uh, 12 volt battery. Yeah? So 0.1 exponent uh, negative 6 multiply uh, multiply 12 so it's a uh, 1.2 exponent negative 6 column ah so that's my answer that's my charge 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 1.2 1.2 exponent negative 6 column so am i is my answer correct yeah uh, 1.2 micro column yeah yeah it's correct this is negative 6 is micro negative 6 is micro negative 6 is micro yeah 1.2 micro column this is correct yeah my answer okay so that's all for this question simple and easy bye just remember that dielectric constant is er is not e yeah uh.